have the ability to use Google Analytics along with AceWeb registration software. Why would you do this? You can use Google Analytics to track which classes people are looking at. This is fairly easy to do if you have help from your computer people and your marketing people. Step one is to generate the code to put in your web pages from Google Analytics. This code is obtained from your Google Analytics site and you can use the same code as, you, as your website or generate a new one. Discuss how you want to do this with your marketing department. Step two is to paste the code into the main foundation templates in your ACE web setup. These three templates include the home.htm template, the standard.htm template, and minimal.htm template. You should put the script at the bottom of the template before the closing tag. So in this example, we have the script located right before the closing body tag. Step three is to wait. It will take Google about 24 hours before it starts to read and process data from these templates. The amount of data collected will depend on how much traffic you get on your website. The results are a little difficult to read, but are very powerful. A typical result will look like this. You will pick these out of all the other data that Google Analytics is reading off your website. When you see a line that looks like this, it means somebody has clicked on and looked at a class. The class in this example is a 12FM AT100. Somebody has looked at this class. Every time this comes up, Google Analytics will count as one hit that somebody has looked at this class. Since our pages are generated dynamically on the fly, the coding that we put in the templates is generating this data. Let's go take a look at a live page. Here we see my dashboard for our Aceware University. If I go into the standard reporting and go down and take a look at the site content and look at all pages, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. One of the first things I'm going to do is show more than just 10 pages. Because a lot of times these pages aren't going to be the ones that have the most hits. They're going to be farther down. And I'm going to go down and look for class pages. So here's an example. I can see that course status.awp1, there's that line we're looking for that somebody looked at this class 120430RW that one person has looked at this class in the last month right underneath that I can see another class with the same thing and I happen to can read this one and it's our 2013 conference so I can go through and pick these out and tell that these are our classes if I wanted to, and this is a subject for a different, a different video, is I could go and create a report that picked these out automatically and put them on a report. You will still have to know what these different course IDs mean, and you may have to go look those up in the system. That's all there is to it. Good luck.